like so. That feels good. There's still snow. Let's get this on the road. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're all Penny out there. Um, so today, beautiful day. It's end of April, getting close, a couple of days away from opening turkey season on my birthday. Oh, fired up. I'm going to be hunting on uh, crown land, public land for the first time ever. Um, there's about 2,000 acres that I've roughly looked at, electronically scattered at, so I think I might sit by there tomorrow. Uh, just to check everything out today is kind of being like a mixed day. I'm gonna it's like spring it's spring, right? So there's lots of brand new things to do So I'm hopefully I'm gonna take a set a mineral site with uh, This deer cane stuff that I have from last year. I love that stuff. It's great things. So the mineral site on the property here uh, I'm gonna set I'm gonna site in um, I'm gonna site in my bow well kind of site in my bow, but I if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I, I changed my arrow set this year. So I went from, basically I went from like a, a like a 340 spine to a 400 spine, 100 grain to 150 grain broadhead, and four fletch to a three fletch. So lightened up the arrow, put a little bit more weight on the front. I'm only shooting a 60 pound bow, right? So I wanted to lighten up a little bit, 12 and a half percent FOC, not too bad. Good try it out. So far the groups are, are pretty sweet. I'm, I'm happy with it. So with that being said, I got to redo my scale site. So I'll, I'll do that video today as well. And then I'll, and then also get a bear bait site going. So pff, lots of stuff going on. Pump. Um, but I'll do that later. So for now, I'll get the bag packed. Get the shovel. I don't think I'll need a rake. Probably just a shovel will be fine. And then walk out in the bush and then uh, set a mineral site. Trail cam. Make sure it's good. Ah, 62%. Not bad. As well, get the tripod. Oh, well, I would be taking this bad boy out, make my trips a little bit out to the bush a little bit quicker, but it's broken down. There's, oof, it's bright. Um, it seems that the, there's somewhere that the ATV, one sec. So the ATV is no good. It seems like uh, it's, there's some sort of wire that's grounding out. It's just causing a fuse to pop. I think that's what's going on but yeah I don't know I got that's a that's a night job get a couple beers going and try to make it work if not take the mechanic all right look at this day freaking beautiful I've got my sunnies it's okay it's all about the squint let's go let's go show you right behind all those bunches of trees and here all bunch of deer bedding all behind here and then actually there's like there's the fence line that runs right through here obviously the hills kind of go up here so this is like a nice travel corridor that they go through and it's nice and hidden through uh so it's nice it's nice and hidden um from all of the predators and everything so it's a nice spot for them to, to hang out. Now, I just am thinking. All right, so it's just to clear up all the vegetation, and uh, so this will be fun. I should've brought a rake.
Okay, so, woo! All the vegetation is basically cleared up. They say, um, they say a four foot diameter is pretty good. Clear all the vegetation off um, and then pour the minerals in. So here's the stuff again. Deer came black magic. Let's see what happens. That's all it is. Minerals are down. Now it's going to set up a trail cam. Uh, this tree seems good. And, uh, yeah, probably this one's the best. Break off some limbs here. What I'm going to do is just go like that. It has angled down just a, just a smidge. Pretty sweet. Just make sure it's on. Got the site going, so kind of here it is. So there's the minerals. There's my trail cam on the tree, or right there. And that's it. So, um, like I said, there's bedding all around. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. Never know. All right, now, since we got the deer mineral site out, time to bear bait. Let's get this on the road. I don't know, kilometer and a half hike. Thank God I have this back. This backpack is I would do without it. That would suck. Hey, I got the pack. 50 pounds. Plus, plus more than 50 pounds because I got other uh, gear and every everything else. I got <laughs> the bear crack essentials. And now I'm hiking out. <laughs> Holy <laughs> You know, it's good. I'm not even gonna be mad. Still snow. Crazy. So we're in the bush. Oh. So now we start the ascent up the hill. So I don't know if you can really see it, but this is kind of eye level. Let's go up and all the way up there. Why? You ask, why did I put that as my base spot? I don't know. No, to be honest, it felt like uh, that was a good spot for animals to come on the other side of this hill, kind of coming up, coming through. Yeah, there's kind of like a, a saddle, actually, right where I'm walking up to, so it kind of made sense. I kind of wanted, to, oh yeah, I kind of wanted to move it. Move my bait side to have a little bit easier access. Hmm. Maybe I will. Oh, I don't know now. Nope, not moving it. Get sick with it. My gut feeling. I was thinking about moving it. Kind of a little bit closer towards the field edge. A little bit more open, but. I'm gonna leave it like this. You can see the trail I kind of made last year. Clear out some of this vegetation. Pretty much here. That felt good. That felt good. No pain, no gain. Holy fuck. Do that every day. You'll be jacked. Okay. Calm my breath. I'm good to go. So, what you need to make bear crack you want to call it. I'm sure it's called, I call it bear crack because they can't resist it. 
<laughs> Clever. Okay, so what uh, what you need is you need a pan, aluminum pan. You need mallows, jello powder. And I like to top it off with some syrup. So after that, you need an element, something to heat it with. I just have a portable heater that kind of works sometimes. So that's what I got. Just add a little bit to start. So this is all gonna melt down. It's already starting to smoke up because it's like super quick to melt. And then, uh, yeah, that's that. It's pretty simple stuff. really smoking now it's starting to melt up good so this is also it's gonna act as a binder with whatever bait you want to throw it in which is good okay so we're done um, we're done with the bear crack like so this is my the corn here and then uh, let's get a Get a bigger stick. Get the big stick here. And uh, twirl it all around. Like in that. It's getting all goopy. And then you take this, flip that under. And then you got that now. It's all binded in. So what I'm gonna do now is just throw a bunch of dead like old logs and everything that throw this on top so it makes it a little bit diff a little bit more difficult for the bears to kind of get at but still make it seem like a, it's comfy for them to, to come on in all right so you have it uh, I know it's not much and people are gonna probably say oh that's nothing bears will be able to move that great they should I'm um, excited so they you know make it easy make it um, easy for them to come in and move that stuff delay them a little bit but I'll be you know it's not like I'm back in three weeks and I need that bait to last like I can I can retop that once a week um, sort of thing so I'm not worried about that so anyways I'm gonna set a trail cam and then uh, yeah this bear bait is uh, this bite sites good which is pretty awesome let's go all right we're off so one thing I hope my camera doesn't die one thing I didn't like where that bear, that bear spot, bait spot was. So this is where I was coming through, coming up. It's the same trail where the bears were coming up, some of them, some of the time, and then they were coming up and going to the bait site, and then I was coming up and going to where I was sitting. So if I wanna leave, I kinda have to go towards the bears and then down if they're still kicking around when I'm, when I'm here at the bait site. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to even be noticed. So my plan this year was to make a trail. So I think it's still recording, still recording. So yeah, I want to make a trail so I can come and go and leave and also see if anything's on, like coming close to us without them having to bust us. So that's why I wanted to make, maybe make a trail here I can come in quiet and leave quiet without them knowing. I like doing that because then the bears don't pick up on where you um, where you're coming in and out of. So it's a long, it's a good little hill, good little drop. Um, that's where I'll have to most likely climb up. Throw my gear, my bow. That's why I didn't want to be here, but it's convenient. 
I think it's a better shot from them going an extra 100 yards or so. Whatever, we'll make we'll make it work. Maybe this will just be an escape group. I don't know. I just want to make sure that I'm being safe. And I can get down efficient and get up efficient as well. So maybe it's going to be a I have to try it and come up this way. That's too bad. I just got to clear these leaves. You guys coming? Be careful. Good boy. Okay. Well, camera might die. So, go back to the shop. Yep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's just some spring shenanigans, I guess. Just a day in the life. So, um, I'm going to be videotaping my turkey hunt. First turkey hunt on Crown Land. That will be going out tomorrow. So, that will be a whole pack out. And, uh... Yeah, I'd be excited. So anyways, hope you enjoy it. I know there's lots of rookie mistakes, but I don't really care. So I'm just going to work on it and improve. So anyways, guys, uh, have a good day. Good luck to everyone out for their spring adventures, whether it be fishing, hunting, um, camping, hiking. I don't, as long as you're outside, right on. And until uh, next time, peace.